Ex-racing greyhound Prokey has left his track days behind him. He now feels altogether more suited to life on the sofa. His best friend Elsie is slightly more energetic. Yeah, you want that? <laughs> yeah. Prokey and Elsie met at Raystead Centre for Animal Welfare in Sussex and hoped to be rehomed as a pair. Prokey, he's an ex-racing greyhound, so he came to us. Um, he's retired from racing because of an injury. Um, obviously, he spent a lot of time kind of in just the kennels in, race, in the racing industry, so we hadn't seen any other dogs except for greyhounds. So we needed to kind of help him learn about other dogs, help him how to live in a home. Because of the high intensity and where they're going from stopping to starting so quickly, um, it's quite an explosive energy um, change. So they will often get kind of back leg injuries, ligament injuries, um, which then as they get older makes them more susceptible to arthritis. And it's damage like that, as well as deaths at the track and the number of retired racers put down when they can't be rehomed, which has prompted the RSPCA and Dogs Trust to call for a total ban on greyhound racing, phased in over five years. It is time for greyhound racing to come to an end. Um, in short, you know, greyhounds are being injured, greyhounds are losing their lives purely for the sake of entertainment. Um, even now, with the improvements that have been made, um, you know, there's still on average one dog a day dying as a result of this, this industry. Trainer Tony Collett has worked with greyhounds in Kent for 48 years. There are around 50 dogs at his kennels in Mepham currently racing. He says the industry's never been so regulated and a ban isn't the answer. On the impact of racing, I think it would, it would put a lot of people out of work. The dogs are bred, they're bred for racing. They enjoy going racing, they're not forced to go racing. Data from the Greyhound Board of Great Britain shows more than 2,000 greyhounds died and nearly 18,000 injuries were recorded from racing between 2018 and 2021. The Greyhound Board of Great Britain says a ban would cost the economy around £175 million if racing were to cease over the next five years. But many campaigners and owners of dogs like Prokey say if it means no more deaths or injuries, it would be more than worth it.